hey everyone so today we are going to talk about random variable now before going towards the definition see what do we do we do some random experiment once we do a random experiment we have all the possible outcomes and we call that collection of all possible outcomes as a sample space this is a notation or this capital omega is the notation so you have a sample space it consists of all possible outcomes now what you do is to each possible outcome you assign a number this is my real number line so to each possible outcome you assign a number this is an outcome you assign a number this is outcome you assign a number and that's what is the random variable so from here you can see if you have studied calculus so you will say oh so random variable is nothing but a function only yes you are right it's a function only it's a function from your sample space to the real numbers but it's a nice function so that's why we call this function nice function as a random variable like when you study nice function in linear algebra you call that nice function as linear transformation okay so similarly in different different subjects we have good good functions so we give them good nice name in this case we call such a function a random variable and the notation we use is capital x or capital y or capital z so what is a random variable it is a function from a sample space to real numbers and what does it do it assigns a number to each of the possible outcomes now you may say why the name random variable well even i got this question when i started studying probability 3 4 weeks back and as per my knowledge whatever i have understood see the word random comes from random experiment that's one of the reason we do random experiments then we have all possible random events and we are assigning number to those random events that's why the word random another answer is it can take any random values this function can take any random values therefore the word random okay once we study more and more probability you will see more and more randomness in the picture okay so that's why the word random and why the name variable because after this we are going to study probability distribution in probability distribution so these are what these are my the range of x the values that your x are taking this will act as a variable to that probability function probability distribution function okay this will act as a variable to that function f which is my probability distribution and therefore the word random variable okay if you have some other good reason do enlighten me by uh, posting your answer in the comment section okay i will pin that comment so it will help help others as well okay so yeah there's a simple definition is a function from sample space to real number that's all it will assign a number to each of the outcomes now there are three types of random variables first is called as a discrete random variable so let us spend some time with the discrete random variable see when the range of x or the output of x they are finite in number or they are countable that means you can count then such a random variable is called as a discrete random variable okay so for example suppose you are tossing a coin three times so what are the possibilities head 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 tail and all those things at the end t t t now let me define a random variable x x will take any element from here let me call w w is an element of capital s what is the output you count the number of heads you count the number of heads so what will be the x of h h h it is nothing but 3 what is the output for t t t it will be 0 what will be the output for t h h or you can say what is the output for h t h or what is the output for h h t for all this case your output will be 2 what will be the output for t t h or t h t or h t t for that it will be 1 So what is the values your random variable is taking? It is taking the value zero, one, two, three. And you, it's finite in number. You can count. It's finite in number. Therefore, it's an example of a discrete random variable. One can define different another random random variable. You can define a random variable y. You count the number of tails. 
So one can define plenty of random variables on a given sample space. Now, uh, suppose if I take another, another example, suppose uh, you are in one of the like you're in a stock market and you want to from today onwards, you have to measure the stock prices of a company. Okay, so from today you are starting your job after every one hour you are supposed to measure the stock price of the company. Okay, so let me call x suffix 1 the stock price of that company at today 9 pm x2 price of the stock company today 10 pm x3 x4 x5 x7 x8 suppose this is the stock price at 4 pm then next day again you come at 9 am stock price of that the same company is x9 at 11 10 am at 11 am so you can see and you are going to keep this every day okay so you can see this you can count the outcomes right so therefore this is again a random variable and this is an again a discrete random variable because you can count and it is countable it's infinite but it's countable so this is what you mean by a discrete random variable whenever you can count the output or whenever it is finite we call it as a discrete random variable the second comes is the continuous random variable that means what Suppose you want to uh, given a time from 9 to 4 or 10 to 4, you want to see the stock of a specific company. So this is my sample space and this is what the stock is behaving, right? So it's, it's varying between 100 to 400. So you can see it is taking all possible values from 100 rupees to 400 rupees. Therefore, this is an example of a continuous random variable. So whenever you have an output whose output is a line segment okay so this is uncountably infinite so whenever you have a random variable whose output is a is a length segment then such a random variable is called as a continuous random variable this is one example another example is suppose you join a company and uh, your boss says okay this is a one of the say dense forest like amazon there you have a particular very dense huge area 5000 square kilometer of the radius whatever trees you have you have to measure the height of each tree it's a dense forest obviously you can't do that manually 5000 square feet you can't do that manually so you have some ai tool that will just calculate the bottom most point and the top most point and it will give you all possible length so like the suppose the smallest trees of length one meter and the largest trees of suppose 30 meter so you have all possible values from 1 to 30 right because it's a very dense forest and you can have infinitely many possibilities okay so therefore that you can also put that under the category of continuous random variable okay and the third one comes is the mixed random variable okay mixed random variable means what it's a combination of both continuous as well as the discrete so suppose for example if you want to again take the same example you want to say the stock price of a company so it is going up like this from 10 am to 1 pm and after one you have to just measure in 15 15 minutes so at 1 15 it is this much at 1 30 this much 1 45 2 2 15 2 30 up till 4 pm so this is an example of a mixed random variable so you have both Okay, another example is suppose someone, some variable is taking the value 2x from say 0 to 1 and after that it is only taking some finite numbers and here onwards it is constant again. So here it is a, till here it is a continuous random variable, here it is a discrete and this is also a constant number. So if this is suppose 3, 2, 4, 3.5 and this is again suppose 2, so it's fixed 2. So this is an example of again a mixed random variable. So when the random variable takes discrete values, that means finite or countable, it's a discrete random variable. When it takes continuous values, it's an example of a continuous random value. And when it, when it takes both the values, then mixed random variable. Now in coming lectures, we are going to study each of the variables in deeply. So I hope this basic introduction is clear. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section. If not, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.